sorry. Oh, we're live. I'm, uh, this is round three, I think? Maybe round four. Who knows? Let's, let's find out. Real quick. So it's round four. I've just already lost two games, so we're not doing too hot. We win this, well, either way, we win this one. We get one ticket back, so it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, drew both my dragons. Just gonna jam a Frostmane, because who doesn't love Frostmane Dragon? Uh, they actually just spoiled a new dragon, like, a couple minutes ago, uh, Vala Flame Iztex Champion puts Iztex spells in your hand. It looks really sweet. Don't actually know how good it is, but it definitely looks sweet, that's for sure. That is a really random replace. I guess whatever. <clears throat> so we want to put an egg in this this lane. I haven't just really decided what I'm going to play this game. I think I'm going to play <coughs> uh, Xerox in the side lane this side lane so I can draw Staff of Eris and have an out, and then play Spite Hydra over here in this side lane. That way you get to damage his Nova, and Zarx goes up to a 4-7. And there's the Scythe of Chiron, I needed to, I don't know, shrink his guys I guess. He's playing Dijon, so not too threatened by his nonsense. I can uh, Scythe this Narcomy, but actually might be huge. Uh, or site or keeper of the damned, so I can bring back my creatures. That's probably a little better. Uh, so go ahead and scythe these guys. Kill. I could deal one damage, I think. One damage to doesn't really matter what. I guess uh, Varna because it regens. Makes my Xerox go up in power because everything dies. Ooh, thank you, Brood Queen. Remember when I drafted that horrible Brood Queen because I wanted more uh, Necroom cards? Well, we have Xerox and Bizzark Spite Mage in this hand, and no Necroom cards except for our poor Brood Queen over here, which we haven't even played a game. Oh, that's a really good draw. Uh, kills my Keeper and my Xerox when my Keeper is going online. So even the Echoes was pretty good there. And um, Echoes blocks my, my Dragon, which sucks. Luckily, I get to kill his... Uh, Malice Hermit with Spite Mage and get my Dragon. Dragon dies to Echoist, but it doesn't really matter too much since Xerox gets power from it. Goes up to 6 7 if my Dragon dies. When my Dragon dies, more likely the answer here. I wish I had more Cackle Bones, honestly. I think Cackle Bones is probably the key to uh, building this deck, deck archetype. So he got one of my Frostmane Dragons, <laughs> which kind of sucks. And then I'll play Crypt Conjurer. I think it's just a little better than uh, Varna, because if I play a Necroom spell, like I have a level 2 Scythe in my deck. So there we go. Uh, it's going to be way more value to play uh, level up a Conjurer than level up a Zerath, even though I do have the Rite of the Grimgaunt. Rite of the Grimgaunt on Zerath is really, really strong. So it actually might have been better to play Zerath there. Likely gonna block nothing. I can just put Xerox in the side lane and scythe my Crypt Conjure. Uh, that saves Xerox and significantly decreases his creature's power, plus steals some 3 damage and kills his Patriarch. And there's the Staff of Varus for my, my double Xerox 2 hand. Yeah, oh man, I love Staff of Varus on Xerox. It's like the best feeling. I've never actually played Varus. I mean, I've played him once before, but I was crushing, so it didn't really matter. But having getting to play Varus in a close game is like the dream, I think. I have a lot of dreams. <laughs> uh, Xerox is definitely one of my favorite cards in you know the game. I really like this card. It's in. I th actually think Berserk is probably my favorite faction pair. Which is weird, because otherwise I hate Necrium. <laughs> I, I hate Necrium Utera. I hate Necrium Aloyan, but I love Necrium, like, uh, Tempest. It just feels so good. So he's... I'm gonna Staff of Virus, my... My Xerox, and then... Ooh, the Leyline... He had the Leyline Golem. Uh, so I guess I play Xerox here? Sure, let's go with that. Actually, probably should have played in front of the guitar sprite. So we're killing Leyline Golem, and then we're killing Nova. I don't really care if he gets a 3-7 Katari sprite, because he has to put a creature there if he wants to do that. 
Ooh, and I drew the Spite Hydra. So that doesn't even kill Xerox, because <laughs> Xerox is indestructible. Uh, you do lose you do lose the uh, ability to hmm. I could be really greedy and go for primordial invoker to try and two the frostmane dragon but that's so unlikely it's just not worth it so I think I'm just gonna spite Hydra kill his guitar sprite then move over Xerox kill his actually there's no point in moving because he might have more leyland golems I'll just play a spite mage to level it up and deal six damage to him because I still get to kill this Frostmane Dragon with my Xerox. And then come on. Yeah, I drew it. Nice. Staff of Varus 2 on Xerox too. The dream. I could also put it on Spite Mage if he plays something really threatening in the middle lane. But I don't know how likely that is, since he has to like spend all his like resources blocking Xerox and Spite, Ste Bite, Spite Hydra. Spite Steel Hydra. I'm <laughs> not sure why that came out. So that's doesn't kill Xerox. So he needs to block it again. And then I just move my Xerox over with Staff of Varus, play another Xerox, ping his uh, guy, attack him for 24. Oh, he's actually just dead. Oh, man. This is the worst. I just killed him. <laughs> Well, I actually really like that deck. I think drafting a bunch of Xeroxes is really good if you can grab like Wind Weavers and uh, Leyline Demons, like all those cards. Like that, the, I think this deck would be really, really strong. Of course, I did have a lot of Xeroxes that that drafted, not a lot of support cards. So that's that could have been why I lost <coughs> some of the earlier games because I was kind of all in on Xerox without actually, you know, a lot of Xerox stuff. <laughs> 